Hello everybody, so I thought we would take a closer look at, um, well, not a closer look, but try out this kit and what I have. First, I want to check out the stamp and then, um, I need an alcohol proof. Let's see. Okay. I have the rustic brown. I'm just going to fold this up. Let's let this light in here better. This box is covering up the light. All right, we'll move it over here. People can say they like the smell of this is beyond me. I don't know. I think sometimes we are just more susceptible to certain smells, different people in different ways. So I didn't, um, oh, prep the stamp. You're only supposed to rock it one time. I just always rock it more and look, it came out clean. The whole thing went on the paper. Look at that, that's pretty. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the light one. Let's just do one of these flowers. And then I'm gonna come in with the darker. And then back in with the light here. Okay. Light. They're blending very nicely, so. That's a good thing. And I'm not trying to make them solid lines where they blend because nature to me just doesn't like that, right? Oh, need that light.
light. This time, let's leave a little blank spot. So maybe the light won't be, will be just a little bit lighter there. We'll see. A little bit. Oh, I didn't leave that highlight like I meant to, but and you might think, man, that's a lot of clicking and stuff, but back and forth with the pins, it is, but I'll show you in a minute why it's worth it. Let's leave us a little highlight right there. So instead of getting two coats of the alcohol, the highlight area just gets the one. But look how that looks. Now let me show you why it's worth it. Here is this one and I'm just gonna do the one color. Now some people will blend a bunch of colors but these are not big enough for that. Okay. Do you see the difference? This just looks real flat. This looks got a little more dimension to it. Now I could come in and I can add another layer and get that darker tone in there. But it's not going to stand up you can see more dimension but it sure doesn't look like that right let me show you this one um how oh, these flowers are also big now Very flat looking, right? But now I can come in and I can just color. Some of them, most of it. This just with one color, if you don't want to click the markers back and forth and use different ones. Now I'm going to come back in and I'm going to add more color here like I did to this one. So all that's going to do now is darken the other color, right? So now it's darkening and I'm getting a little bit more depth. But now I can come in, do it again and then carry it all the way out. And then carry it all the way out. It's just the more layers you put, the darker that it should be. Of course, until you get to the color it's gonna be, period. Once it's at its max, that's where it is, I think. See, that gives it a little bit more depth, but that one is 
just looks best. Okay, very nice. I love this stamp, it's very pretty. Okay, so we got light green. Let's do some leaves. Here we go. And this is the light. And a lot of people <laughs> were really liking these colors yesterday. So they did pick some good colors. Okay, now I left highlight on the tips. And now I'm gonna come in and blend. So I'm just gonna go over the tip of the darker into the middle and then come the rest of the way out. It looks really good. It looks really good. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to do <clears throat> was take out one of these. This is going to cut into the paper, not out of the paper. So what that means is I'll just do a little sample for you. So I already have a frame cut. And I want to come in and do cut it out. It's going to cut this out of my paper. So, you're going to get all them pieces out. Okay. I don't know where my rubber brush thing is, so. We're just gonna poke these out. Okay, and now we have the outline. Let me just grab a piece of paper so you can see. There's the outline. So what do you think? Okay. So if I wanted this cut out all the way out, then I'm going to have to bring this in. And this is going to cut it out. Okay. So let me just run this through. So I can show you. Okay. 
You can put them in together at the same time if you're very careful and you make sure that they don't overlap each other because one will ruin the other one or it could hurt your machine. Um, best thing is to tape it down to make sure that they're not going to bump into each other or one's not going to overlap the other. Okay, so now I have it obviously not very straight. It looks like I didn't get all the way to the tip. So I'm just going to come and snip it. It should just cut right on the line. Nice and easy. There we go. Okay. So, another thing I can do now is bring this in. Cut this out. And I don't even have it straight on the paper, which because it's linen, I kind of do want it straight because I want the lines in the linen straight. So I'm gonna do that. Oops. <laughs> But now, because I'm using the same die to cut it out. Did it do that again? Oh, man, it did. Believe me, I don't think it's the die tonic is always quality. I kind of cut that a little short. But now I should have the exact perfect size to glue onto the back of this if I don't want it coming over, right? So it lines up perfectly. But I can do this, but I have other options. When you have outline dies like these, you have other options. One of the other options is paper piecing, and basically what you would do is come in and Find the pieces that are going to fit, and uh, usually you run a different color through, and you can put different colors in, and I think this would be really pretty paper pieced. Um, there's a lot of little pieces, but I think it would be really pretty, but I'm not going to do that today. I have other things. I want to show you. So I'm going to bring you here. And here's one of my other options. How about if we just come in and color these edges? We also don't have to cut this out in white. We can cut it out in in col you know, in a color and put white behind it. So we could do that. This one's a little difficult because it's a little hard to see what's what here. But there's also another option. And that is that you can just come in and color with it, right? And color your petals the color you want. And you can do the layers and all like I did, right? Now, if I was going to do this, I would do it. And then come back with a, a fresh new one to go over the top so you're still seeing the outline. Does that make sense? 
So if, say this was the flower, then I come through with white. See, I love this gap though. I really love the stamp. Okay. Um, another thing I can do, cut two out. Take this one. Look at how that worked. It's supposed to do that, but you should have a paper underneath it to absorb. Here's we got this beautiful glitter paste. And now this is cut out. Where is that tool that came with it? Right here. Let me do this better than this. Let me. I would do it with a bigger border piece. I would just cut the die out not the frame out, if that makes sense. So let me get this corner down. Okay. So now I got my glitter paste and it would be taped down better than this. It would be tighter than this. And of course it would be clean paper and you know we would be doing it right. You wouldn't be doing a video <laughs> showing everybody the different things they could do with it. Okay so now, I love this spatula. It works great. This is the best tool I've seen so far. I love it. And you might not want to go backwards. You might want to just stick to one direction. Okay. Do not leave the paper on there because this stuff, the binding agent, what holds it together is a glue. And so you do not want... <laughs> Yeah, I think that's probably silicone, too, so it's probably easier to clean. I bet you anything. I do want to get this cleaned off, though. It would probably be okay, because if it's silicone, it's, it, you know, it's going to be, it's going to just wipe right off. Just, if you're not aware, there is glitter in this. This spatula is going to be, I got to. Oh. Y'all, I'm so tired after, so I'm in Pacific time zone. So the 24 hour starts 9 o'clock at night. With like what 11 to 4 is when it's not going it's when it's on encore so then I go to bed and then I'm up and back at 4 o'clock in the morning <laughs> to watch the new show because that's when the new shows start so then I watched crafters TV and then I had a crop last night and we were there until after 11 so I didn't get home and in bed until after midnight. Okay, look. Now that looks bad, but it's it's because of the way I did it. Because I didn't have it taped down nice and everything. 
But if you're using crisp paper, there's also, it would look splotchier because there was purple. See, <laughs> back here. But then you can take another cut and put it over that once it dries. I wonder if this, I wonder if I should go ahead and cut you out a real one, a good one. And show you, but I think you can see down here. And this paper is for um, alcohol markers, not gilding paste or not gilding paste, glimmer paste. So you can feel that it's wet. You can feel the water from the glimmer paste. You can't see it there, but it's there. <laughs> Yes, I'm gonna love this set. I think it's a beautiful set. The colors are beautiful. But I did wanna show you, just kinda give you a quick idea of some of the things we can do with this. Um, I gotta find that square one again, there it is. Um, just ideas of what you can do with an outline cut out. And I think I'll come back later and we'll actually do this right and we'll actually make a card. <laughs> we'll actually make a card with it. How does that sound? Because I think it's gonna be gorgeous. All right, everybody. Like I said, I'm sorry, but I am tired. And I think I need to go take a nap. <laughs> All right, everybody, if you like my videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for joining me, and I hope you join me again. Bye-bye now.